Hey guys, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 back with some more Kirby's Epic Yarn. In this video, we're going to continue with more of our mini game Mayhem, where we're continuing with more of a Zeke's Hide and Seek mini game. In this one, you have to find Zeke's buddies under like 30 seconds or whatever, and if you don't do it before the timer runs out, and I did that with just 5 seconds to spare. But yeah, if you don't do that before the timer runs out, of course you're going to fail, and then you got to start all over, and it gets really annoying. Or maybe no, it was 20 seconds, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't like that one at all, that one's really annoying. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're finally continuing, finally, well, this, we're fine, I'm doing, we're doing part 25, and this is actually being... <laughs> Uh, today is actually uh, August 25th, and I'm doing this post commentary on. Um, but to you guys, this may not be up till the 26th. Uh, you know, I just I have a really slow, I just have really bad internet connection here at my mom's house. I just don't know why. Um, but yeah, we're continuing through. Um, now we're heading into Splash Beach. You know, I didn't really do too bad overall on Zeke's hide and seek mini game, but ugh, later on, you know, some of the mini games I did terrible on. And here I was ground pounding the turtle because I was impatient as hell and I just couldn't freaking wait for the damn water to raise or whatever, tidal wave, whatever. Yes, picking up a shark, killing that one, even though there's no reason to, since this is a hide and seek mini game, not a bead collecting mini game. But after we get through Zeke's hide and seek mini game, the next one will be a um, what's it called, a bead collecting mini game. Uh, yep. So grab that, buddy, and nah, I gotta wait for the water to raise again. That's mainly because my jump. I didn't time my jump very well when I opened up that umbrella. So there's another little buddy right there, friend, whatever you want to call it. There's the fourth one. Um, yeah, the last one, still got a little ways to go. And I got to use the swing or button or whatever to get up here. So you can see the last one was like up above that ladder. And now I gotta wait for the wave to rise up, and I got I get hit by this stupid shark because you know that's just how it is when whenever I play this game I always gotta get hit. But with that we found all our friends and a success. Alrighty. So I really don't know what there is to talk about. I mean, a lot of people for some reason are having some problems with Windows 10. You know. I'm kind of having that same problem, but you know, I'm not going to let it but worry me. I'm still going to keep it either way. I mean, it really isn't that bad of a product that Microsoft made. It's just, I don't know, either Microsoft needs to make like a Windows 10.1 like they did with Windows 8 or something. Like just make Windows 10.1 just to fix up a couple of glitches maybe. I think that's what they need to do is make a Windows 10.1 or Windows 11. Like, one of the reasons why I want to stick with Windows 10 is because what if Microsoft makes a Windows 11 or Windows 10.1 and you need, like, either, and you need Windows 10 to upgrade to that product? And that's one of the reasons why I'm staying up to date just in case I have to, like, just in case I want that new product. But anyways. Um, so, Blub Blub Ocean, I, doesn't seem like I screwed up on this one. Yep, one of Zeke's buddies are down there. It would seems like a perfectly good spot to hide, if you ask me. And here I ended up screwing this part up. Like, I swore I pushed the up button to throw that shark, but apparently I didn't. Um, but there's another buddy, and nope, there's not another one up there. But I'll come down below, and there should be more buddies down below, more friends to find. Um, yeah, let's see, yeah, just keep, yeah, there's nothing over there, let's just keep progressing onwards. Ugh, I, okay, there's another one of those buddies, but apparently I messed that up, so I have to go all the way around again, darn it. Yeah, I'm just trying to get ready so I can get up there, and there we go. Alright, 
So yeah, once again, this is still post-commentary because, you know, I just still can't seem to do live commentary. You know, if my living room had it been so used up for the past several days, I probably would do live commentary. I know a lot of you guys don't enjoy me doing post-commentary because it sounds really boring when I do that, but I don't really have much of a choice in the matter. Because I have not done any videos of this game or any videos particularly in a while, so... That's why I'm doing post commentary so I can just get a video up. <sighs> All right. But yeah, hopefully I can get this walkthrough done soon. I mean, like I said, this has been going on for too long now. I mean, I finished up Super Mario 64 DS, but you know, I still got this game to finish up. Yeah, probably either my next walkthrough will be Mario, probably either Mario Party 4 Sonic Generations. Um probably might be mostly Sonic Generations for sure though but I have to I have to actually beat that game in order to do the walkthrough because you already know I don't do blind walkthroughs and, and yeah one of Zeke's buddies is down there so you definitely want to go through that oh I remember when I originally did this I had a hard time finding out how to get to that crystal star down there and now I know because obviously during the time I recorded this I was being really retarded and didn't know how to get to that area and I thought, I thought one of Zeke's buddies was up here, so I came up here, but nope, nothing up there. But yeah, probably my next playthrough might be either Sonic Generations or Mario Party 4. Like I said, if I do Sonic Generations, it'll be on the PS3, not PC. Um, if anyone wants to see the PC version of Sonic Generations, or, or see a PC gameplay of it, then you should check out a Quasi J's gameplay of Sonic Generations, because he has the PC version on his channel uh, like a complete walkthrough of the PC version so anyone who wants to see that go check that out because yeah my playthrough will be a little bit similar to quasi J's but only differences uh, a couple of differences is I'm gonna be recording with the camera instead of a uh, like I think the the editing the program he used to record Sonic Generations on the PC was the Camtasia I think it was but yeah, mine's gonna be recorded with um with my camera and being recorded on the PlayStation 3. Um those who do have PlayStation Network should probably add me. If anyone wants to know my PlayStation Network name, just follow me on Twitter and Skype and you'll you'll see I'll give you the name from there because I'm not gonna mention it on my channel, like publicly mentioned it. Um I will mention my PlayStation Network name on my channel soon. I just don't want to right now, mainly because I haven't really done any PS3 videos. If I'd done any PS3 videos, I probably would put put my PlayStation Network in in the description box on my PlayStation 3 playthroughs. But I haven't really done that yet, or, or I haven't done any PlayStation 3 videos. And here I was trying to catch the second buddy of Zeke's, and I'm screwing up here. I should have just focused on the one that was in that block but I didn't so yeah oh, actually now I get the one in the block but yeah anyways we're heading into future city I don't even know how the heck I got hit there but yeah the future is now thanks to future city I don't know I don't know it's just things have been really boring around here because quasi J if anyone doesn't know uh, he no longer has a computer, apparently, because, well, for some reason, um, the driver on his uh, other computer or whatever stopped responding and keeps screwing up on him, so I think eventually then his computer broke down, and so he just, now he has to be on his Wii U internet browser to be on Twitter. Um, he hasn't, I don't think he's actually sent me any messages on Twitter lately, at least I don't think he has. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like he has. I asked him if he, if he's gotten a new computer yet, so far no response, but, yeah, he can't make an update on his channel about why he's been inactive lately or whatever, because, yeah, he doesn't have a computer or mobile and stuff like that and here I had to do a cut because I messed up on this level here Tempest Towers and this isn't the only one I had to do a cut I had to do dozens of cuts actually um, so yeah that was one of them and uh, yeah 
but I should probably also let you guys know too um, I actually do have um, not just one battery pack on my camera but two battery packs so like if I ever do this with live commentary some of you will probably know that yeah if my camera batteries ever run low well I have a special a spare backup battery so now I can actually record even more videos than I did before because like when I recorded videos on a second memory card like my backup one I only got to record about maybe 15 minutes or or whatever of the video and then after that I had to stop the recording because I need to let my camera batteries charge but now I have more I have another now that I have another battery pack I'll have more than enough battery power to do to do like a whole entire recording session like like all the, like long enough videos to where it fills up the memory cards and stuff cuz I only have two at the moment so yeah all right so let's see um the reason I kept screwing up on this one is cuz that that fourth Zeke buddy or whatever or friend was the one I kept screwing up on cuz I couldn't I couldn't see where it was but yeah that's the fourth one the last one's right there and silent music at first and then the victory music occurs or whatever but yeah I think I said that a little I think I was a little bit off when I said it the victory probably came on after probably came on before I even said that there was a delay but whatever I oh, you found that while you were hiding huh butter building fabric huh Yes, that's the name of the music in Tempest Towers, not the one I'll be using. Using the Future City remix, or not remix, the Future City music because I feel like it. Alright, and this one, I didn't really do, do too bad on this one. No, I didn't have to do any cuts on this one, so... Yeah, you won't see that little black animation on the video or whatever, like you would be seeing if I were to screw up. Um, but this one you have to find under a certain amount of time. I think it was uh, uh, 20 seconds, I think it was. No, 15. Ooh. Okay. Alright, another hide and seek stage. I can't remember. This is not the last one, is it? There's 18 of these levels, as I figured out in the recording, so... <laughs> Yeah, I think we're only on the. Oh no, this is the last one. Okay, that means I'm gonna be doing a cut there. Because yeah, I had to cut here because I messed up on one of the little Zeke buddies. You'll see which one it was here in a moment or two. Just keep going through. There's one. Alright, and the second one... Uh, I really hate this one. I don't like this one at all. Uh... No, the second one is not in here. That's just a crystal star. I learned that the hard way. And I got hit by that stupid glowing ghost, or whatever. I really could have used him for some extra light, but I really screwed that one up. There's nothing up there, so don't bother screwing around up there. It's kind of insane that the last hide and seek mini game had to end on this level. Like I, I one of the reasons why I think this ended on, on a level such as this is probably because Z got so scared in, in a level such as this that that he or she just didn't want to do this one anymore. So, yeah. And yes, I have no idea what Zeke's gender is. So, yeah, yeah. So, because you know. I could look up in the descriptions or character descriptions or whatever because you know I don't have a strategy guide for this game so I really don't know because when I did this game like when I beat it 100% I did this without a strategy guide because all I did was use uh, YouTube to look up this the 100% objectives so yep alright nothing up there Just keep making more light. 
Oh, jeez. I don't know why my allergies are acting up again. They haven't been acting up that badly for the past several days, but now they're now they're acting up again. So yeah, if you hear a random noise, sorry, I keep bumping into my mic. That's what you're hearing is me bumping into my mic. I hope it's not going to like sound too loud when this is up, but hopefully not. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, that was the one I screwed up on, that fourth one. That's the one I kept missing. I, I don't know why. But there we go. That's all of the, uh, the Zeke, Zeke, Zeke's friends or whatever. So, finally done with Zeke's hide-and-seek mania. And I had to do a cut there because my camera was about to run out of memory. But anyways, um, yeah, with that, um, we're pretty much done with Zeke's hide-and-seek mania mayhem or whatever so um now we can pretty much now we can progress onwards and rebuild the like add another floor to the apartment buildings or whatever but you know we'll do that in the next video so with that um yeah so yeah um so yeah so next video, yeah, we will re we'll add another floor to the apartment building. And do okay, yeah, I gotta go, guys. Yeah, see you next time.